wanted to get it right. This portion of the video was sponsored by Boyron Osillo Coxinum. Are you ready? It's week two of spring cleaning. This week, we're spring cleaning the kitchen, the heart of the home. We're also going to be decluttering and organizing, restocking the refrigerator, organizing the refrigerator, pulling out appliances, cleaning things you may have never cleaned before, organizing and decluttering kitchen cabinets and closets. So let's get ready and let's do this together. So I'm starting here in the morning. Mike was downstairs with the girls giving them breakfast and I was getting ready to deep spring clean all over, but especially this bed since I had spent two full days in it with the flu. So goodbye flu, good riddance. This portion of the video is sponsored by Boyrun Ocillococcinum. And so while I was getting started this morning, I took Ocillococcinum because I'm getting over the flu. I've been taking it for a couple of days now. Addison actually had it first and then I got it and it was absolutely miserable absolutely miserable. Ocillo is a homeopathic medicine to treat flu symptoms. You take it at the onset of any flu-like symptoms, which thankfully I had on hand and started taking it as soon as I got sick for the first time. Clinical studies show Ocillo reduces the severity and duration of the flu. The melt-away pellets are super easy to take. You don't have to swallow any pills. It also has no interactions with any other drugs, herbs, or supplements. It's non-drowsy. It's good to use for ages two and up, so I was even able to give it to Addison. Boyrun Ocillo actually reached out to work with me, and you know, I was doing my research, and I found that it was a great product. And then what do you know? Two of us got the flu. I feel like you can't make this up. Now I am glad I was introduced to Ocillo. So I'm introducing it to you. And you can learn more at the Ocillo website linked in the video's description. Thanks to Boyrun Ocillo Coxinum for sponsoring that portion of the video. Now back to my regular content. life update I will be sharing with you in this video but I don't want to get into that right now we'll kind of set up the video and then we'll get to that all right so I'm going to be catching you guys up on the sickness what happened Spring cleaning video I had asked you guys some YouTube questions I said I've been getting a lot of questions on Instagram about the other side of YouTube how YouTube works and I got some really good questions so I'll be answering some of those in today's video um, you know, like probably the questions that if you're not a YouTube creator, maybe you don't really know. So I'll be answering those. And I also have so much satisfying cleaning in this video. So much satisfying spring cleaning. I'm going to be pulling out appliances and cleaning something that you probably have never cleaned before. So a lot in today's video. I'm also going to be updating you on our doggy Reese unfortunately it's not a great update but i did want to kind of fill you guys in what's going on but yes okay so starting out um this was the aftermath of me getting sick after i had recovered for the most part um and this is just the mess that that happens when one parent is down mike was holding down the fort you know he did a great job i did not leave my room for two days he held down the girls he got avery off to school did did it all and he was even working from home there was one day that he was managing working from home and the twins so the house was a disaster we were behind on a lot i have toothpaste on my shirt but you know what we're on the men, so we're gonna go with it, ready to get this house back in order. If you guys are ready to get some spring cleaning done, give this video a thumbs up right under the title.
So on this day, I had planned on getting so much done because nothing had been done in the house for I think like four days. Mike was jam-packed with work. He's really busy right now. He had a lot of work he needed to catch up on since he didn't get to work as much one of the days since he had the twins. So my mother-in-law actually took the twins um, to my sister-in-law's house, Mike's sister. So my mother-in-law babysits my niece. She is two months older than the twins and she took them for the day to go hang out with my niece so mike could catch up on work i could catch up on cleaning now while mike was working i did have to get his help you know use those muscles that he works so hard for he works out quite a bit um, about five days a week i guess and i had to use his muscles to pull out the appliances and it's just so crazy to me how dirty under the appliances get because i clean under here probably three maybe four times a year so it just blows my mind how gross it gets but when you have a dog you have kids dust dirt crumbs all of that i guess that's where it come from so i pulled it all out to clean vacuum and remove all of that stuff I do want to tell you that I had planned on fully spring cleaning the kitchen. I didn't get to the full spring cleaning kitchen because I was sick. I we were behind on normal daily and weekly tasks. So I'm kind of off my spring cleaning schedule. That's okay. Life happens. I'm not going to let it derail me. And I just want you guys to know it's okay. Um, stuff comes up. Life happens. You just adjust. And that's okay not to get done what you plan. It's a marathon, not a sprint. So I'll probably do part two of kitchen spring cleaning next week. So I'll share some spring cleaning tests today and then some next week. But I just want to thank you guys for being here. I hope this is a space you feel safe, that you feel like you belong in, that you feel motivated, empowered, and just a space maybe that can be an escape for you. And just, I don't know. I'm just, I'm so glad that you're here and um, I hope you feel like we're hanging out, we're getting things done and... I don't know. I just hope that you feel like this is a space that that uplifts you, makes you smile and makes you feel like you're a part of it and we're in this together. I feel like I'm sharing so much in today's video. I also forgot to say I'm sharing an Aldi grocery haul. We recently got grocery pickup at Aldi. I personally love shopping at Aldi, but time is money. So we do grocery pickup at Walmart, but up until just recently, I found out that our Aldi has grocery pickups. I was organizing the fridge with the Aldi grocery items. This is a spring cleaning task that I think is important. Um, but it was also something that just needed to be done. Okay, so I've kind of avoided talking. Some of you guys have been asking about an update on our dog, Reese, Reesey, Reesey Cup. And I've, to be honest with you, I've kind of avoided it just because it, it's been really hard to give updates and think about it, but um, it's time. And this is really hard for me to say, but um, as you're seeing this video, our sweet doggy, Reese, is in doggy heaven and you know it's like you guys have she has been your dog as well she's been a staple in my videos for the past five years in the background being my cleaning buddy if you aren't if you don't know if you're new she was diagnosed with cancer about three months ago we were not given a timeline at all and honestly up until two days ago she was 
pretty fine. Running, barking, eating, drinking, and within the past 48 hours, and I'm filming this on Friday, the video will go up Sunday, she has declined significantly, really in the past 24 hours. And so on Saturday morning, she was, um, she will be put down. I'm saying it now because it's Friday, but as you guys see this, she will be, um, we'll be taking her to the vet and she will go to doggy heaven and she will get to run. She will get to bark. She loved to run and bark with neighborhood dogs and just living her best dog life. And it's just, it's hard because I know a lot of dog owners are going to say, my dog is the best. But you guys, she, being a family that we have three young children, she only twice in her entire life chewed something up. And that was when she was a puppy. You guys know we have toys and diapers and socks and stuff all over our floor. She's never chewed anything up. Our pantry doors are constantly open. We have food on the floor of our pantry. She has never gotten into the food. Half the time, she doesn't even eat the food that's on the floor that the kids throw on the floor. She has never bitten anyone. Not once. Not once. She's gentle, loving, kind with our girls. And it's, she was my first dog. I've never had a dog before. And it almost makes it harder because I just don't know if we'll ever find a dog that is so loving and caring and laid back as Reese. So, this is really, really hard for me to talk about. I don't want to make this video sad, but I did want to update you guys. I will probably do more of a tribute in next week's video, but she is in doggy heaven now and um, we miss her. We do. We do. <laughs> so thank you guys for loving her like your own dog. So I was wiping down the shelves with the Aunt Fanny's cleaning vinegar spray. I get that from Grove Collaborative. And then in this clear spray bottle, I was using, um, it's my DIY cleaner of one part rubbing alcohol, one part water, and then about a fingernail size of Dawn dish soap. The bottles from Grove Collaborative as well. I love these bottles because they're glass. And then the bottom part has like a little rubber. I like the colors. I like the rubber part on the bottom. And it just looks a little bit nicer when I set it out on my countertop. But this DIY cleaner is game changing. It's amazing. I pretty much use it on every surface except for wood. I use and it in our bathrooms. You're going to see me use it in our countertops here in a little bit. But I like using it also as a finishing spray on my glass stovetop or here on the grocery or the um, refrigerator shelving but it's just it's awesome I love it um, but for Grove Collaborative I usually will put in an order maybe every three months or so so and just do like a big bulk order um, but I was also using the to wipe down a lot of the bins in the fridge I was using the Aunt Fanny's cleaning vinegar spray I get that from Grove Collaborative and uh, it's just a great cleaner they also make a wood floor cleaner that's great the Aunt Fanny's cleaning vinegar wood floor cleaner so get those both from Grove, Grove Collaborative I shop at Aldi I am just personally in love with Aldi in general I mean for many reasons their customer service their employees are great I love the prices I love the healthy options and all of that and we're always looking for ways to save save on our monthly grocery bill and I'm just so pumped now that we have a grocery pickup now in the past so we go to the grocery store weekly 
And in the past, we would go to, I'd say Walmart three times a week and then Kroger once a week because Kroger has some things that Walmart did not, but Kroger does tend to be a little bit more expensive. So we try to shoot, we would always shoot to shop mostly at Walmart, but now I think we'll probably switch back and forth between Aldi and Walmart. But I'm really excited about that. So yes, if you guys like shopping at Aldi, let me know. And if you do, let me know what you like getting from there. Okay, you guys are seeing me do a lot of the things that I had planned on doing for spring cleaning in the kitchen. But some of the things that, um, like I guess if I was gonna give you guys a list of things you could do, I would say wipe down countertops, wipe down backsplash, clean your garbage disposal. I just did that not too long ago, so I didn't have to do it. Scrub the sink, clean your refrigerator, which I was doing today, clean freezer, clean your oven. I'll probably do that next week. Clean the dishwasher. I got to do that. Clean the microwave, clean small appliances. I'll do that next week. Do pantry inventory and organization. Wipe down the pantry. Wipe the front of the cabinets, which I'll do in this video. Wipe the top of the cabinets. Clean and reorganize the inside of the cabinets. Wipe down kitchen table and chairs clean and disinfect the trash can, which I did recently, and then sweep and mop. So if I was gonna make a list of spring cleaning items, those are some things that I would really, really focus on. So this week, um, you know, I had to pull in those things, those like daily and weekly tasks that just needed to be done. Um, sometimes it's like, that's what I focus on. It's um, the more immediate tasks, and then the deep cleaning comes as like an afterthought. Um, but if you guys wanna start writing down a list, hopefully that gives you guys a place to start. I, the next two days I spent in bed, hydrating, Pedialyte, Gatorade, resting. It was not fun, but luckily I'm on the mend. <laughs> it was not fun. So these drawer organizer drawer organizer expanders are great. I use them in the girls' dresser drawers and also in the kitchen. They're just great because they really fit into many different drawers. They're expandable. I'll have them linked below. I have the wood ones in our kitchen because they're a little bit more expensive, but they do make plastic white ones. 
and because I just wanted the kitchen ones to look a little bit nicer and I wanted them to match the drawer but they also have ones that are just basic basic plastic white ones that don't match or anything but it doesn't matter and they're definitely more budget friendly um but like I said they're great for these drawers specifically because they're just so they're wide they're deep stuff shifts around and it's just an easy way to put them in here and section things off and then in this other drawer I had some cheap cheap baskets from the Dollar Tree and then like two long organizers from the Dollar Tree that I had on hand. It doesn't look fancy. It doesn't look perfect, but you know what? It works well. Your entire, entire kitchen does not need to look super fancy, perfectly organized. It just needs to be functional. Sometimes, yeah, you want it to look perfect and other times, you know, it doesn't matter. So get some drawer expanders if you have some drawers like this, but I'll try to have um, a lot of these things linked in the description, especially the silverware uh organizer it's nice because it has those two expanders on the end so it expands depending on the drawer that you have and then next i wanted to clean our microwave microwave really wasn't too bad so how i clean my microwave is i take a bowl of white distilled vinegar i put it in the microwave and i set it for about seven minutes and it heats up the vinegar it gets all over the microwave and kind of con um, put some condenses inside um, condensation so it's easy to wipe out i'll show you how i do that but while i have the seven minutes going i always try to run over and do something else like see if i can get another task done in that seven minutes while the vinegar is going so i was going to scrub the sink and then when the seven minutes is up i go back spray some dawn power wash in the combination of the hot vinegar that is all over the microwave you spray some dawn power wash and everything wipes away perfectly um, my microwave really wasn't too bad but it has been worse before and this combo works like a charm So let's talk YouTube. The number one question that I get from everyone, and this not be not might not be like the most juicy uh, details about YouTube, um, and you guys can ask me more here, and I'll answer some more questions. But every single week, multiple times, I get a message of, "How did you get started? What's the secret to being successful on YouTube?" And I got started. Um, I just started. I remember one night Mike and I were at dinner, and I was like, "Hey, I think it'd be kind of fun to create." A YouTube channel and I think that a lot of people have that idea like you know that pie in the sky that thing that that you have nagging you in the back of your head you want to do but you know like really that's it's like saying I want to be an astronaut like I want to be a rocket scientist like it's never going to happen and I told him and then that was it that was the end of the conversation and I just was so scared I don't have the personality I don't have I'm just not the type of person that should be on YouTube, to be honest with you. Um, I don't have that personality. I'm shy. I'm introverted. And so I said that to him and then I didn't do anything because I was scared. And so I know a lot of you guys, if you want to start a YouTube channel, you're probably like, I'm scared. I'm not good enough. There's already so many people who make videos out there on YouTube. And um, so I didn't do anything about it. And then one day, like a few weeks later, he was like, hey, why haven't you posted a video on YouTube? And I was like, that was like a joke and he was like come on you'd be great at it just do it number one tip is to do research youtube has plenty of free resources i did not spend anything i didn't take a course i didn't do anything starting my youtube channel all i did was research videos on youtube about how to make videos on youtube so how to create a thumbnail which is a little picture you see when you click on my video what to put in the video's description um what to title your video so people want to search for it all free resources on youtube um how to edit i had an old pc that i use windows movie maker it was very old. I had a very old camera that is worse quality than an iPhone. 
and I just started. And I think that people are scared and you think of, well, I'm going to put up a video and it's not going to be as good as somebody else's. And you know what? It probably won't be as good as someone else's who's been doing it for so long. But like if I start running, my mile time is not going to be as good as someone who's been running for five years, right? You're never going to be as good as someone else who has been doing something for a certain amount of time. So we let that fear get in our way. And I just kept thinking to myself, what would I do if I wasn't afraid? I would start a YouTube channel, like get, stop being scared and just do it. So you know what? I wasn't perfect. I didn't have great camera angles. Like my music was horrible. I did, everything was horrible. Like it's cringy when you go back and look at some of my videos, but you get better with time. It's like with anything. And I know this is like, let's roll our eyes, but practice makes perfect. And it's true. The more you do something, the better you get. So I just suggest do your research on YouTube about how to make videos and just do it. And I have posted a video every single week since I started five years ago. I have never skipped a week. And most of those weeks I've posted at least two videos a week. So I had more time when I just had one child. So I did post two videos a week a lot of when I first started my channel. And so I've never skipped a week, even when I was pregnant with twins, nine months, or well, I was never nine months pregnant with the twins, seven months pregnant with twins, postpartum with twins, I never skipped a week. And so I was just very, um, I was very disciplined. I always got out that content and I just decided I was just going to keep going. And I never, I mean, I was discouraged a lot of the time, but I never let that get to me. And I just kept going. I can feel your heart. The real life messes, if you guys saw you guys saw me wipe down our table, you saw me wipe down the bar stools. Well look look at what they look like now. So and that was later that that night after I wiped everything down. So nothing stays clean for very long in our household. So if you feel the same way and it's very frustrating, I share in your frustrations. So this is something that I bet you've never seen me clean before. It's the vent that clips on under our refrigerator. And as you can see, it gets pretty gross. The first time I cleaned it, it was so dusty and gross. You just pull it off. It snaps right off. I used a horse hair brush that I got off of Amazon. I will have it linked below, but um, it just, it only fits on my Dyson. It doesn't fit on my Tinco. That's why I'm using my Dyson. Clip it on there and I cleaned it, but Go check it out. I'm curious to see how dirty yours is. Yeah, we're gonna continue it on and hopefully I can get what I need to get done this evening. Mike actually took the girls to dinner. He has the girls, they're at dinner. I'm gonna finish up and yeah, let's go. So here I was just wiping down our cabinets. This is another good spring cleaning test to do. I was using the Jaws multi-surface spray going around um, and I was short on time and I had other things I needed to do, but I'll probably do this next week. Like I said, I'll pick up and do more spring cleaning tests next week and I will clean the top of my cabinets. So that's something else I want to do next week. I also need to clean or wipe down my backsplash. I want to wipe down the small appliances like my air fryer. I want to clean all of those like the toaster, like I said, top of cabinets, pantry I want to take care of. 
um, I already did the inside of my cabinets, but that might be something that you guys want to take care of, clean around my garbage can, and clean my dishwasher. So I'll plan on doing that with some other tasks next week. why I'd still not put up our curtains which was kind of crazy because the neighbors behind us are so close I still had not put those up because I knew I wanted to clean the slider door and all around it and the top of it but then I also realized because we were so behind and everything getting sick that I had not filled out the March calendar that um, this is made with a Cricut machine so I was filling that out and Mike had taken the girls to go eat while I was finishing up this evening, he had taken them, I think, to Bob Evans because they wanted chocolate chip pancakes. And then he brought them home to give them a bath and Addison snuck down. That's the thing with twins. One always sneaks away while he was doing something with Emery. So Addison snuck down to say hi to me. And I just wanted to quickly declutter this closet. This cl this closet becomes such a mess. And if I don't come in here regularly and just take stuff out, like every time I declutter this closet, I take stuff out of it. And it just gets so crazy and messy. And while I'm down here cleaning, then Avery comes in and wants a snack out of the pantry. I'm like, oh, kids. Um, but anyways, so I was just decluttering and kind of making this closet look a little bit nicer this closet it'll be so nice in the new house because we will have actual like a mudroom and locker like lockers you guys know what i mean now this worked out great when i did it it created more space and it's just like a great budget friendly option if you have a closet like this to store like hats and gloves and coats and shoes and stuff but the problem is is avery can hang up her coats and stuff but the twins can't because they can't reach over that bench it's really a bookshelf turned over on its side from walmart the twins can't reach up so like they'll get home and they'll throw their coats on the floor and we're like no girls go hang up your coats but then it's really hard for them to reach up so um it'll be nice when we get in the new house to have those lockers that they can actually get up and hang stuff up Okay, so YouTube questions. And remember, if you guys have any questions, it's hard for me as a creator because I only see one side. Like, I don't know what you're actually curious about when it comes to YouTube. So those questions that you're wanting, let me know. And I'll try to keep answering those because I know I remember being really curious. Okay, but on the last spring cleanings video, one of the questions I get got asked was, at what point did you start receiving any income? Like, not... A lot of money but like when did you first receive any sort of income from youtube so it is a little bit different than when i started right now i think now you have to and i could be wrong but i think you have to have at least a thousand subscribers or a certain amount of watch time hours before you can get monetized back in 2017 when i started you could get monetized right away so when i first started making videos i could put ads on my video right away so my first video I think was posted in mid-February and I remember, I remember where I was when it got deposited in my bank account. I got my first paycheck 
in July. So July of 2017. So that's what March, April, May, June, five months it took me to get my first paycheck. You have to meet a certain threshold before you get paid. And it, at the time was $100. So I got paid $100 five months after I started. So I think like that's one of the biggest things with YouTube. It's like for five months, I was creating content, filming and editing and not making, uh, not seeing a dime at all. And then I got a hundred dollars. And I remember just being so excited because that was all like extra income. I remember like this hundred dollars, we, we could go out to dinner. We could go like do, go do something fun and do dinner and have it paid for. You know what I mean? Like I remember just being so pumped and I remember I screenshotted it and showed it to Mike. So it took me five months to receive that $100 paycheck. And I remember after that, I think it was every month I would hit that $100. And I didn't see um, like a big increase until about I hit 100,000 subscribers. So you don't really get paid... To be honest with you, subscriber count really doesn't matter. It's more of the views you get on your videos. That's what matters. Um, and so, but I mean, there is a correlation. For the most part, obviously, this is this is not the case for everything. Um, but I've always had the the bigger my subscriber count got, the more views I got. So as you know, I got more subscribers, I got more views, and I remember it feeling like, wow, we are really saving a lot of money um, because, again, we live off of Mike's salary. We dump everything that I make into savings, retirement, 401ks, uh, savings for the girls, and I just remember when I hit 100,000 subscribers in April of 2020, so it took me three years, over three years, to get to 100,000 subscribers, and I remember at that point, it was, um, I felt like we were really starting to contribute to those savings accounts. So that's kind of a timeline. Again, if you guys have more questions on YouTube, the back end, how that works or more details, like obviously I can't tell you like very specific numbers at this point, but if you guys do have more questions, more specific questions, let me know and I will try my best to answer them as honest um, as I can. So three years of posting every single week. I never missed a week and I still have never missed a week. So that's three years of posting every single week. And it was usually more videos because I had more time at the time. So yeah, three years of posting two videos a week for the most part. And that's how long it took me to get to 100,000. It was a lot of work and a lot of time, but I wouldn't change it for the world. Clubs into water when they hit the ground. Hear the sound of empty streets Yesterday has gone to sleep So all that's left is you and me I can't promise you're the only thing I see Hold my hand and hear the words I say All right, so then the last thing I was doing was just vacuuming and mopping and you did not see me vacuum our kitchen even though it was really really bad you guys the floors were so dirty because typically we'll run our robot mops daily but the floors were so messy because we were so crazy busy from me being sick and schedules being thrown off cleaning routines being thrown off that we couldn't even run those because everything was so messy so the floors are really dirty but this video was so long that i had to cut out me vacuuming in the kitchen but I did vacuum and I pulled out my Shark Apex Uplight vacuum because it's corded and it picks up more since we hadn't vacuumed or mopped in a while. I wanted the heavy duty mop, but yeah, uh, or vacuum. And by the way, I'm so sad to say this, but this is a discontinued vacuum. I want to try to find a vacuum I can recommend to you guys. It's very similar. Um, I don't know. I'm kind of keeping an eye out so I can have recommendations for you guys, but this is just a great vacuum when you need like a really good vacuum. Making echoes as we walk. There's no one left but you and me. It's like a made up place that only we can see. Hold my hand and hear the words I say. Standing on 
underneath the lights Look into each other's eyes There's no one left but you and me It's like a made up place that only we can see Okay, we'll start here with our staples, milk, chocolate milk. It's funny, because out of my three girls, Addison is the only one who likes chocolate milk. Emery likes it, but she will always prefer white milk or apple juice. Like, if we allow them to have their choice, Addison always chooses chocolate milk, Avery chooses some type of juice, and then Emery will pick apple juice. Um, but, you know, that's only when we allow them to choose. Most of the time, it's just water or milk um but it's kind of funny because i feel like chocolate milk is so good and only one out of my three kids likes it so we got our milk i got this slim i got this thin slice seed tastic bread so i eat uh avocado toast all of the time and i get the killer dave's thin sliced seed bread and this is like Aldi version of that so I was really excited to see that there. I picked this up for a quick lunch. Um, I'll let you guys know how it is. It's the southwestern style chicken quinoa bowl so it has brown rice. It has brown rice, sweet peppers, black beans, corn, and bell peppers and I thought that looked really really good so I'm excited to try it just for like days like I'm filming or now I do want to try something a little bit different for lunches. I got these pita pockets so pita bread whole wheat pita bread and i want to add some pepper jack cheese and maybe some chicken i picked this up so it's already pre-made chicken a lot of times i will make chicken in the crock pot or in the air fryer but it's always nice to have some chicken on hand and so this is the southwest yeah southwestern i got the southwestern chicken so i'm excited to see how that is in maybe this or maybe in salads um, I got some pasta side dishes for the girls, chicken flavored, some marinara sauce for the girls, um, elbow mac macaroni, this is for a meal I'm making this week, bananas, some shells and cheese, the girls' favorite, they love the shells and cheese, broccolis, all my girls love bro <laughs> all of my girls love broccoli, as do I, that's my favorite, oh, and green beans too, we're making um, this week, so I wasn't, um, I don't, think I got any potatoes but I'm making here I'm gonna make this this week it is a rotisserie flavor turkey breast tenderloin so I'm gonna make this with some green beans and then red skin potatoes so that'll be one of our meals this week but I've never tried this but I love well we love turkey breast in general and so I like that it was already flavored so hopefully that's pretty good cilantro because I'm um I found actually a recipe for the pita pockets with the chicken uh cheese tomatoes cilantro avocado so I got avocados this is a staple for us um like I said I eat avocado toast a lot the girls love just mash mashed up avocado with some salt in it that's one of their sides they eat a lot of times for dinner but we also use it in our smoothies a lot Cucumber, Avery loves cucumbers. Um, I'll use it in her lunches and things like that. Some lemons, I've been making a lot of lemon water lately. So I got some lemons and then some yogurt tubes. The girls love this and they're finally at an age where they can handle these and it's not like they're squeezing it and a ton is coming out. So we got those, some granola bars, easy after school snacks, lunches and quick breakfast type of things, some apple strawberry pouches, another staple in our house. And then I had this, um, and then I got some toasted ravioli. The girls love ravioli. They love tortellini. So we got this. I bet it'll be pretty good in the air fryer. So I'm going to probably try that here this week. Some easy breakfast, pancake, pancakes and sausage on a stick. My girls have never had this they love pancakes like that is their go-to breakfast but i like to switch it up a little bit introduce different things to them so we kind of keep it pretty simple here with breakfast so i got those we'll see how they like it um french toast sticks they actually do like french toast sticks so i got those um fish sticks this is kind of something i think is interesting my girls really do like fish sticks salad the girls do love salad as do i so i got salad 
eggs. I go through so many eggs. I eat eggs almost daily. Eggs and avocado are like two of my almost daily staples. Some white cheddar cheese popcorn, um, butter, peppers, mozzarella cheese for a recipe I'm making, tomatoes for my chicken wraps, strawberries. The girls have been really into strawberries. We kind of like cycle through fruits. So they'll be like on a big strawberry kick and then they're over it and we'll switch to something else. Right now they're on a strawberry kick. So I picked up some of those and then I got these. Now we've never tried these and I'm kind of curious. Let me know if you guys have tried these before. So they're egg wraps. I came across them on a recipe group that I follow on social media. And a lot of people said these are really good for enchiladas. Um, so I kind of want to do a little bit more recipe digging to see what they're good for, but they are, if you're low carb keto, I think they're good for that. Um, I sometimes do more lower carb meals and Mike has been doing lower carb as well. So we're going to give this a try and I'm actually really, really excited to try these and I will let you guys know. I'll let you know either way, but I'm excited to try these. They feel really, really soft and you do have to keep them refrigerated. They're grain free and dairy free. So if you've tried these, let me know what you think and let me know how you use them. Do you cook them? Oh wait, enchiladas. And then I saw a recipe for, um, lasagna. Like instead of using noodles, you use these. And a lot of people said it was really, really good. It sounds weird. I don't think that really sounds good, but a lot of people said it's good. So I may give it a try. I will keep you guys updated. Um, and if I, I'll try not to forget, I promise. But if I do forget, let me know. Either way, you guys are amazing. I'm so grateful to have you guys here. And I guess I'll see you guys next time. Bye. I really wanted to get it right. Trying to find some balance in my life